This is part two of the shoulder pain month. Uh, I'm here to talk today about the five most common reasons why somebody's shoulder is painful. So here we go. Hopefully you enjoyed last video where we talked about the anatomy of the shoulder and how it's a very complex joint, actually four joints, the shoulder blade, the humerus, the clavicle, and the sternum. All of those are going to be involved with the shoulder. So the number one most common reason why somebody has shoulder pain is a condition called the rotator cuff impingement. To review, the rotator cuff is four muscles, one here, 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 and here. And impingement means that the muscle and the tendon are being compressed. And the most common one, 75% of the time, it's this muscle right here, the supraspinatus. And you can see how this muscle comes from the shoulder blade and it goes underneath this bone right here and it attaches to the ball on the humerus, the head of the humerus. And right in here you can see that there's space. This is called the subacromial space. This is the acromion and this is the humerus. And this is the subacromial space. And in that space lies one of the rotator cuff tendons. And you can imagine if things are not moving correctly that there's not a lot of space. In fact, research shows there's five millimeters of space between this bone and this bone. When the shoulder stops moving properly, this bone squeezes into this bone and it causes compression and friction on that tendon. That is called rotator cuff impingement. It's also called tendonitis. Um, or inflammation of the shoulder. Typically this is happening because when we lift our arm the shoulder blade needs to rotate up as well as we lift the arm. When the rotator or when the scapula, the shoulder blade gets stiff because of all these muscles that attach to it, look at that, amazing how many muscles attach to that thing. In fact there's 21 muscles that attach to the shoulder blade. When those, any one of those muscles gets stiff that shoulder blade cannot rotate properly. That's one of the main reasons why you get impingement syndrome in the shoulder. Common symptoms of impingement syndrome are uh, pain on the front and top of the shoulder in one localized spot. Sometimes it can refer down the arm. We also know that nighttime pain, really common for shoulder impingement. We also know lifting above 90 degrees. When I lift overhead, I get pain in the front and top of my shoulder right in here. Number two most common reason why somebody gets pain in the shoulder is because of bursitis. In that same area, this little fluid filled sac is a bursa. This right here is called the subacromial bursa. That bursa is designed to provide lubrication for that muscle. This muscle right here, see how it goes across? It provides lubrication between the muscle and the bone on the top. When friction starts to occur, before the tendon and muscle get irritated, the bursa starts to get irritated and it can get swollen and inflamed. So bursitis is very similar to rotator cuff impingement. Number three is a rotator cuff tear. A rotator cuff tear is a tear in the muscle of any one of these four muscles in the shoulder. You typically will see two types of tears. One is a full thickness tear where the muscle completely tears. A partial thickness tear is like small little, like a 10% like a tear. People with partial thickness tears, which are the ones that can actually still move their arm, those people can do really well healing, scarring down, and avoiding surgery. The number four most common reason why a shoulder is painful is because, is because of a labral tear. A labral tear, let's see if we can find the, it's not going to show it here, but a labrum tear in the socket right here, the articular surface of the glenoid cavity, there's a ring on the outside that's kind of like a ligament, uh, very similar to a meniscus in a knee, and it just creates a deeper socket, um, and that can tear, that little ligament cartilage material can tear around, this not shown in the picture here, but it can tear, and then that cartilage flops down in the joint. Typically the symptoms of that are pain with clicking and popping. And also usually there was an event, uh, some sort of event. Like I threw a baseball and I heard a pop and a click and now it hurts. Or I fell on an arm. And finally the fifth most common reason why somebody has shoulder pain is what is diagnosed as arthritis. 
we'll have arthritis on these two surfaces. And sometimes, again, you'll hear the terminology bone on bone. And the reality of the situation is 80% of people over the age of 60 have arthritis in their joints. Arthritis does not equal pain. And when they say bone on bone, that's impossible if your shoulder still moves. The shoulder is a joint where there's two bones that come together to create a space and that space is designed for movement. If you can still move your shoulder, you don't have bone on bone. And arthritis is probably not the problem. Now arthritis is most likely present in your shoulder if you're over the age of 50, but that is not a reason. Now, if I have decreased joint space, that can be a reason, but guess what? You can increase that joint space through better movement, stretching, mobilization of the joint. So hopefully that helps you. In the third and final video tomorrow, I will be showing you my top three strategies to get your shoulder moving better and to be pain-free. Thanks for listening.